Good evening. Welcome to City Council meeting of West Sem Wednesday, September 6, 2017. Can I have the roll call, please? Dan Carey. Present. Peg Conniff. Here. Salem Derby. Present. Jennifer Hayes. J.P. Gazinski. Here. Joe McCoy. Here. Dan Rist. Here. Tamara Smith. Here. And Joy Winnie. Here. Could please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Could I have a motion for the approval of the minutes of August 2nd? Second. Okay, a motion second approval of the minutes of August 2nd. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? One, abs one abstention? One okay, one abstention. Motion still passes. Public? Speak time. Is there anyone here from the public who would like to address the council? Please come to the um, stadium and state your name and address for our record, please. Annette Siegel, Mother Street. Um, I'm here as representing me as a pedestrian, me as a crossing guard. I am still waiting for some solution or something for the speed and the crosswalks in East Hampton, especially on the corner of Holyoke and Cottage. And as an example, as I was walking over here today, a car was stopped for somebody in the, possibly in the crosswalk in front of Needy's, and a car coming behind him, of course, was going too fast and wasn't paying attention to hit him, rear-ended him. So I don't know where to go. I haven't heard anything else from, you know, I've been to the safety committee meeting. I'll, I want to re, you know, get the conversation going again because I was hoping something over the summer would have been done. But um, first day, two days of school, I've already had two people go through the crosswalk on Clark Street while I was in the middle with the stop sign and they just waved to me <laughs> and then other people trying to cross students you know already nobody's stopping so let's reintroduce this just get some kind of cover I the last I thought I heard was that it was going the DPW it was there they were the ones who were supposed to start doing something and I haven't Matrix, heard anything over Kerry, the summer. Can you give us any, is on your agenda? Um, it was on our agenda and we removed it having talked to DPW and the police department who didn't have a, a constructive fix for bad drivers um, and you know we talked about if you see someone not stopping a crosswalk calling the police and we've the police chief has upped um, surveillance on that corner specifically and tries to get guys over there during the crosswalk hours and the school hours uh, but that's where we're at right now. So hopefully we can keep you up. Yeah, that's it. Just yeah, time. keep me updated. Like I said, it's only been two days of school, and I've already witnessed so many yeah. not stopping <laughs> and speeding. And like I said, just happened to be today there was an accident right. on the way over here. So, you know, let's. I just don't want it to die off. That's yeah. all. Well, thank you for okay. your keeping us aware of it. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, we can move on communications from elected officials, boards, and committee. Councillor Derby, do you want to? Um, oh, no, we're going to. Yeah, you can introduce it. We're just not going to move it, right? Yeah, um, we did get a request from the EDIC to consider a zoning amendment for <coughs> uh, first floor residential work and live space. Um, this one is particularly geared towards um, artists who um, would be able to uh, have a studio in the front so it would maintain the um, storefront and have a workspace in the back which would then save them on rent for having to have a store that they would have to rent and a living space that they would have to rent. Um, so this is still in um, very uh, preliminary draft form. Uh, the planning board uh, has been received by the planning board. Uh, they are going to start working on it after they work on some of the things that they're working on now. Um, and we are going to wait to accept it as new business until there's something mm -hmm. concrete. Um, but that's the update. Okay. Uh, and we also, and this is correspondence that we received from the State Lottery Commission uh, dated August 18th to the City Council. Uh, Massachusetts State Lottery is offering Kino Monitor to existing Kino to Go agents to display their game at um, their location. In accordance with MGL Chapter 10, Section 27A as amended, you are hereby notified of the lottery, lottery's intent to install a monitor at the following Kino to Go agent in your community, which is Union Mart at 123 Cottage Street. If you object to these agents receiving a monitor, you must do so in writing within 21 days of receiving this letter. Uh, please address your written objection to Carol Ann Frazier, General Counsel, Legal Department, Massachusetts State Lottery Commission, 60 Columbian Street, Braintree, Mass, 02184. Should you have any questions regarding this program or any other issues re relative to the lottery, please call me at 781-849-5555. 
Look forward to working with you as the lottery continues its efforts to support 351 cities and towns of the Commonwealth. Uh, sincerely, Michael Sweeney. Thank you. Uh, standing reports, finance, council <coughs> wrist. Did you want to do mayor and community? Oh, I'm sorry. Skip mayor command. Mayor Kadger, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> She's not late, retired late, yet. Late, late. <laughs> so I, I'm sure you already know, but the Emily Williston Library is going to go on, go uh, undertake some structural uh, a, uh, construction projects. So the youth library has already closed. It closed as of September 1st. and. In case you don't have one of these flyers, if you want to pass them down, they have a lot of really good information in it. Uh, Rama had asked me to hand this out, and the regular library will be closing the 16th. But the good news is uh, Will Bundy at Eastworks has offer offered his space there for temporary, which is great. And this flyer, which is really nicely put together, um, has all different kinds of questions and answers in there. So if, in case anybody comes up to you, any of your constituents or residents and wants to know what's going on with the library, when it'll be open, they're hoping to have it open by January. Um, but this is all structural and that's why the youth section had to be completely closed. But they're still going to be um, working out of the East Works and that would be, you, we know where that is, it's across from the, re the registry of motor vehicles inside and that's going to be open on September 18th. Okay. So just so you have it if anybody's asking you and I thought it was really nicely put together. Great. Thank you. Now standing committees, finance council. <coughs> uh, finance committee has the budget <coughs> report and nothing on its agenda and no new business so the finance normal meeting every other week is canceled until further notice. Um, this is unusual. That's a break. But I'm not, I'm <laughs> That's a break. Wow. Uh, the mayor is spending the money she has, but not new money. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Public safety council. Kerry. Public safety's next meeting is going to be next Tuesday, the 12th, at 6:15 down on the first floor, and we'll be addressing both matters on our agenda, but especially the one-way streets of school and railroad streets and we're hoping folks will come uh, and let us know what they think about that as it's a major change downtown and that's uh, got a September 5th date on the agenda so if I can just get a 60-day extension uh, second, I'll second. Okay, motion to, for a 60-day extension on the uh, school and railroad streets additional questions or comments all those in favor Aye. Uh, Aye. opposed abstain motion passes that concludes Appointments. Uh, you want to move uh, new business, Councillor Smith? Mm -hmm. We have no old business to report and appointments, but I have two mayoral appointments that I would like to uh, make in the form of a motion to move to the appointment subcommittee for review. So the first one is for Mo Bellevue for the ECA Plus with a term expiration of 12-31-19. And the second is for Marjorie Zayek for ECA Plus again also with the term expiration at 1231 19. Second. Okay, a motion is second to move the two previous appointments to appointment subcommittee. Additional questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Motion passes. And our next meeting will be on September 20th at 5.30 in downstairs. Right. Thank you. Ordinance, Councilor Derby. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, so I do have some housekeeping here. Uh, the first bit of housekeeping is uh, at our joint public hearing last night with the planning board, uh, it was the consensus to uh, abandon our seasonal cottage community zoning amendment. Um, really? And I'll, ex I'll explain that in, in a moment. Um, uh, so what I would like to, uh, maybe I guess I'll explain it first. Uh, so th this was brought forward uh, uh, because East Hampton does not have a lot of places uh, for people to stay if they come visit town. Right now, there are basically no options. I think there was one bed and, air, bed and breakfast. Um, the rest are Airbnbs, which are unregulated and off, out of our um, jurisdiction at this point. Um, so this has been identified as a need um, from the planning department um, across uh, through many uh, areas. And this was an attempt to try to maybe open something up that would allow people to come stay here for our events like Cultural Chaos and the Mill Pond Live events 
and all of the great things that are happening in East Hampton. Um, however, uh, there was quite a bit of uh, adversity to this from the neighbors of one particular parcel that was being potentially considered. Um, and what we found out through all of the kind of back and forth was right now, as it stands, um, in East Hampton, if you would like to put a campground on an open piece of space, uh, you are allowed to do so by right. Um, and so we decided that it would probably make more sense um, because in our zoning definition, campground does have, is defined as something that can have co um, cottages. Um, or I, I believe the, the actual term was Cabin. cabins. cabins. Um, so we decided to, instead of continuing to work on this, we decided to take a look at the existing zoning that we had for campgrounds and tighten those up so we have some say. As of right now, there are no guidelines for campgrounds in East Hampton, zero. Mm -hmm. um, and so we found that to be um, a bit of an issue. So uh, we did, uh, and the planning board as well decided to release this without prejudice. So I guess I, in the form of a motion, unless people want to discuss this before. We can still discuss it after. Okay. Um, we can discuss it after too, <laughs> but um, uh, in the form of a motion, I would like to move that we re remove this without prejudice from the agenda. Second. Okay, okay well, motion a second to remove without prejudice the seasonal cottage community zoning amendment. Additional questions or comments? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Stain? Motion passes. Um, and just, just for the record, we are going to be taking up the campground thing shortly with the planning board, so I imagine the other counselors can expect to see that soon. Um, I, I think at this point, um, as I look at our agenda, uh, since right now we're kind of on a, uh, the planning board is, I would say, not actively working on the sign ordinance. I don't know if it makes sense for us to have that on our agenda um, until it comes back to us from the planning board. So again, I would like to move that this be removed from our agenda without prejudice. Second. Okay, motion a second to remove without prejudice review of the zoning ordinance section 10.0. Additional questions or comments on that one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. Um, okay, now the the next three we are still actively working on. Um, so that would be the um, ordinance looking at the single use plastic bags. Um, and at this point, I guess I'll give an update. Um, so last night at the planning board meeting, they are continuing to work on an actual zoning ordinance around recreational marijuana. Um, and so I think all of us we're there, we're following very closely what they're doing um, and you know, giving our input into the process. Um, and so I think it's fine for it to stay on our agenda, but they are crafting something as we speak. Um, and so I think it does make sense for us to keep this on here so when they are in a place where they want to collaborate with us, we can continue to work with them. Um, and then we still have the um, the re request to create a human rights ordinance committee. I think we had kind of kicked around releasing this, but I feel like um, with the report that came out from the attorney general and just the tenor of you know some of the interactions that are happening in town, I think it makes sense for us to keep this on and to continue to work towards this. Um, and so that's, as the chair, that's what I would like to do. So I'm gonna keep this on. Um, and that's my rationale for it. Uh, so for all of these, I'd like to request a 60-day extension, please, in the form of a motion. Second. second. Okay, a motion and a second for a 60-day extension for the three remaining items, items on the ordin ordinance agenda. Additional questions or comment? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. And then finally, we are going to meet a week from tonight at 6 p.m. in the room that Barbara puts us in. <laughs> Which I think if finance isn't meeting, then we'll probably get we, we may get one. Yeah. 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 Okay. So again, a week from tonight at six PM is our next meeting. That's, do you know the date is just for Oh good. Thirteenth. Thirteenth. That's what it is. Nine thirteen. That concludes. Okay, thank you. Property Councilor Krasinski. Nothing on the agenda. No new business. Okay, rules got new report. Relations, Council Risk. Now report. Okay, we have no old business. Councilor Smith took care of new business. 
So I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain. Motion passes. Nothing to sign. No. If it wasn't for me, we would have been out of here like 10 Aye. minutes ago. Thanks a lot. <laughs> we could have broken.